All right, guys, this is the buy and sell segment every single Monday right here on Wager Talk TV. We are breaking down teams you're looking to buy or teams you're looking to sell, teams you're looking to bet on and bet against. Well, let's start things off. Uh, well, I'm going to take a look, actually, guys, at our sell team first. We're going to get the Boston Bruins. And this might come as a shock to some of you guys, but I think the Boston Bruins right now are a team that you just have to fade because you're going to get prices on them, whether they're favorites or short dogs, that just should not be the case. They're still without Patrice Bergeron. They're still without Brad Marchand. Those are two huge players for that team. Obviously, Bergeron with the injury, Marchand with the uh, suspension hurts that team big time. Schedule coming up for this team. They got the Rangers, Islanders, Senators, and the Avalanche on deck here for this week. Let's look at it. The Rangers, really strong team, lots of depth, great goaltending. They did play an Islanders team, starting to get their act together a little bit, but we'll see what can happen in that one. But they're a great defensive team. The Senators are primed to upset teams. They're an upset team right now. Um, obviously, they're not really in much of a playoff race, but uh, lots of youth on that team. And you saw what they did against the Washington Capitals on the weekend. I really think they could pull off an upset here against the Bruins. And then, of course, the Avalanche, the best team in the NHL, uh, cup favorites. And that's uh, you know going to be a real tough one for the Boston Bruins. And also, let's discuss it with the goaltending troubles coming in for Boston. I mentioned it a few weeks ago on Puck Time, but I really think uh, it is going to be tough for the Boston Bruins to solidify their number one guy, who is it? And they need Allmark to play really, really well. I think it was kind of a mistake bringing Tuka Rask back. Um, and that definitely hurt that team a little bit. But we are actually selling the Boston Bruins, guys. And I believe we'll get some pretty good prices on these sales for this week. So let's fade the Boston Bruins for the time being here and try and make some money uh, in the process. Now let's get into our buy team. Had to start with the bad, get to the good. Let's talk about the St. Louis Blues, a team I'm looking to buy on this week. Um, looking at this team, four of the next five games are against teams with a losing record. Um, that has to be something you check when you're doing your schedule checking every single Sunday or Monday. I recommend all of you guys out there handicapping the NHL or NBA or any sport for that matter. Make sure you're schedule watching um, four next five games against teams with losing records. I believe St. Louis. Um, can pick up some wins with their high-powered offense. And speaking of high-powered offense, third in the league in power play percentage, third in the league in shooting percentage. This team has talent all over the ice. I really do believe the St. Louis Blues for this week are a buy team. That is the buy and sell segment, guys. We'll try and make some money this week with these two teams, whether you're betting on them or fading them. That is your buy and sell segment, Karim. Uh 